Hey there, hey there. I have some hair to show and tell for you guys today. Today's hair is brought to you by Ali Julia Hair. I'll be sure to leave the link below to this wig and also their direct store. If they have any social media links, I'll be sure to link it below as well. Ali Julia Hair was kind enough to send me four bundles of 18 inch Brazilian straight hair and a 18 inch 13 by four lace frontal. Brazilian straight. The hair has this really nice low luster to it. The texture of the hair is on the silky side. It came with no foul odor. The weft on the bundles come really neatly constructed and it's very thick. This is their 13 by 4 18 inch Brazilian straight lace frontal. The hairline comes pre-plucked but the knots do not come bleached. The lace is Swiss lace and it is a bit gray on my skin but I'm going to try to go in and tint that later. Off camera I went ahead and bleached the knots. I left the bleach on for 30 minutes and then washed the frontal out. I also washed the bundles off camera. I took all of the hair and I made it into a wig on my little sewing machine. I have a video on how to help construct their wigs coming later on. I'm so excited about that. After I took the hair, one thing I did not like about the hair was all the beards on the wig, like the little flyaways. But I have a product that will hopefully help bring that down. So in the end, I went in, flat ironed the wig, styled it, and this is what it's looking like. Not bad, not bad at all for my like first machine made wig. I'm so freaking proud of myself. So in this video, it will be my first time cutting a bob on a L7 mannequin head. So we are going to get through this together. So if it do come out bad, Please don't laugh at me. Like I said, it's my first time. Practice makes perfect. To cut the hair, I'm gonna go in with this Andis Clippers. Um, these clippers could be found at Sally's, the beauty supply store, Amazon. I'll see if I can find any links and then leave it below. So in order to get the nice cut, I'm just gonna go through and section off row by row. I'm only sectioning off like three rows at a time. And I want the bob length to be like the tip of the mannequin body right there so i'm just taking my time going in cutting it hopefully this helps and hopefully this helps somebody else that's interested in trying to get a nice layered bob to help with the flyaways i'm going to take this product right here and just put some on the hair just a little bit because i don't want to weight the hair down with a product this is a serum but also a heat thermal protectant
Here is the wig after I'm all done and we are in natural sunlight people and I think I did pretty okay not bad not bad to tint the lace off camera I went ahead and sprayed it with what is it the lace gurus lace wig tint I'll be sure to link it below if you are interested and this is what the inside of my wig looks like it ain't the most perfect stitching but it ain't bad especially for my first time All right, you guys, here it is, the moment of truth. Let's see how it looks. Let's see Ooh, how it's going to look. You ready? You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Turn on camera. Okay. And I don't think I did bad. I don't think I did too bad, you guys. Like, what do you think? You like it? Was this helpful? Because I think this looked nice. It's actually the perfect length. All of that. Ah, love it. So I want to add a few baby hairs and at first to help style the baby hairs I was using the got to be glue gel but it was just a little too sticky on this soft hair so I had to go in with some mousse instead so that's that little white stuff that I have on there now. Also, this wig install is glueless. I do not have any glue, tape, gel, or anything on the hairline. The elastic band has a good grip on the wig, so it just keeps it in place. And yeah, so stay tuned. I'm gonna try to start taking orders on wigs that people want wigs made gluelessly. And I'm also working on a wig line. I have so much in store for you guys, but please be patient, especially during these times, cause you know it's crazy during these times and I hope you all are doing well being safe and all that okay let me stop babbling so i tied down the hair for just a little bit not too long probably like only about five minutes but during the waiting process i noticed the front of the hair could have used just a little bit more trim so i went in and trimmed the front just a little bit I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what it is. Now that I'm watching the video over, I'm not really a fan on how I did my baby hairs. They're not too bad. They could rock, they look decent, but I don't know, I feel like I could have did better. I was kind of rushing. But anyway, so to get that soft baby hair look, I'm just combing out the baby hairs now. Right here is my end result, and I feel like I should have went in and bumped the front a little bit more, but uh, sorry about that. Otherwise, this hair is really good, nice and affordable. It's really soft. One thing I must say, I don't think I'm going back to handmade wigs again, machine-made wigs, custom-made wigs, because oh, wow, look how flat this wig is, and it fits so snug really snug i love it i like how the lace blends in with my skin i'm so glad that i could rock this hair gluelessly um shedding definitely laid up i have been rocking this wig for about a week and a half now and barely any shedding i guess shedding but nothing too hectic tangling zero tangling that's pretty much for my hair show and tell. Hope you guys like. I hope this helps somebody. Like I said, it's my first time cutting it on the L7 mannequin, so don't try to come at my head. I know it ain't the most perfect cut, but it ain't bad. <laughs> so if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I get back to them as soon as possible. And I see you guys in my next video. Later, you guys.